Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna give you five practical ways to harden your SSH server. We'll talk about everything from passwordless SSH to disabling root login and changing your SSH port. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, let's get on into it. Before we begin here, I just wanna remind you that the latest information is on my blog, which I'll have linked below. So definitely check that out. And with that said, first and foremost, we don't ever want to use a password to log in via SSH. Instead of a password, we wanna use a strong key to access the remote server. To set this up, use the SSH keygen command to generate a key on your local system like this. Next, use the SSH copy ID command to copy that key to the server. And then when you test it out, you will be able to log into your remote server securely without a password. With that in place, let's next disable password-based authentication for SSH altogether. Open the SSH config file at etc ssh sshd underscore config, uncomment the password authentication line and change the value to no. While you're in here, also uncomment the permit empty password line and change this value to no and also set use PAM to no as well. Restart the SSH daemon with systemctl restart sshd and now when somebody tries to access your server via SSH without a valid public key, they will see a permission denied error. Next, let's disallow the root user to log in via SSH. Similar to before, open the sshd config file and change the permit root login to no. Restart the SSH daemon with systemctl restart sshd for the changes to take effect, and now the root user will not be able to log into the server via SSH. Another SSH security technique is to change the SSH port. The default SSH port is 22 and pretty much every hacker knows this. Open the SSH config file again, uncomment the port line and change it from 22 to something else. I suggest looking through this Wikipedia page of port numbers to find something that is not used by another application. As always, restart the SSH daemon and now when somebody tries to log into your server with the default port, they'll get a connection refused error. From this point forward, you can specify your port with the dash P flag and access your server that way. Tip number five here to harden your SSH server is to use the free service at ssh-audit.com. Simply go to ssh-audit.com, type in the domain name or IP address and port of your SSH server and click on scan. You will be given a score and a letter grade that corresponds to how strong your keys, algorithms, and encryption is. In addition to this, you can also do a policy audit for your specific operating system. This is a pass-fail grade based on whether or not your SSH server is hardened to standards. In order to fix things, you can use the SSH hardening guide for your specific operating system, which will give you a series of commands to execute as root that will harden your SSH server. After that, you can rerun the audit scans, and at this point, you should get an A for the standard audit and a green passing check mark for the policy audit. As a reminder, check out the blog post, which I have linked below for all the latest SSH security tips from me. Like this video if you got some value out of it. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.